Good morning, good afternoon. Good evening, for that matter. This is gonna be a super fun video, I can tell you that right now. If you were at the Western Hunting Expo and you came by our booth and you had a youth with you, hopefully they picked up one of these free Hush Life coloring books. This was an idea we had this year to hopefully get the youth excited about not only hunting and fishing, but about the expo. As you can see, it's just pictures of our season last year. This is the buck Brian killed. This is uh, the bull I missed in Idaho. This is the fire bull. That's a fish Brian caught. That is a deer Eric shot. A fish I caught. A trout and a logo. So when we passed these books out, we included a little attachment in there that said, please enter our Hush Life coloring contest, our first annual, and ask you to color one of their favorite pictures in the book and submit it into the coloring contest through our Instagram account. So I posted all of the entries that had hashtagged Hush coloring contest. That's what we asked to do so it'd be easier for us to find, but we had 26 entries from what I could find. So I asked you guys to go and vote on them on both Instagram and Facebook. And I just got done tallying up all the votes. First off, we just wanna say thank you to anybody that came by the booth and thank you for entering the coloring concept test if you did so. We were so blown away by the heart, the passion, and the talent that these kids put into their pictures. So thank you, and you guys were all so very, very talented to announce the winners of the first ever annual ever annual annual ever first ever annual hush coloring contest we have these letters that were corresponding to the pictures i posted and this is in order it went j s e a so i will reach out to the parents that posted those pictures for the kids and get their addresses but also what we wanted to do is Everyone that participated was a winner. So we had 26 entries. We were gonna reach out to everybody and everyone is going to get some sort of package from the Hush crew. And just wanna tell you guys, thanks for doing it. Thanks for participating in it. Next year it will be bigger. Next year it will be better. But what a cool, cool way I feel like to just get the kids involved. That's a big thing for us as a uh, company, but also as individuals. I have four little ones myself, and it's very important for us to get uh, the youth involved because if it, without them carrying on this passion, it will die one day. Hunting and fishing will go away if the youth don't get involved now. Orders, orders, going out the door. We're here at the warehouse. Wanted to do a little update this week on the Hush Life vlog. We just got back from Oregon. We had a killer time catching steelhead. I hope you guys uh, watched the entire series. The last one went up yesterday. The day before that was where BMAC slammed those two giants. Two best steelhead ever. And, and oh. guess, hold on, sorry. I was gonna say, guess what? They're already done. Show them the pictures. Chael, who was out there with us, super talented when it comes to just anything related to fish. Fishing, cooking fish, and smoking fish. Two years ago, he brought smoked salmon, he, and I his, loved it. Yeah, his recipe is incredible. So he took that hatchery fish home that I had. There it is in the brine. So he brines it for 12 hours. Then he smokes it for eight hours. Here it is when it's finished off oh the smoker. Oh my gosh. And then he dries it for six hours before it's finally packaged and ready to go. So he's gonna send this to me. Cannot wait to get it and try it. This is mine and then also one half of Casey's fish. Oh, I'm so jealous. So I had one filet that we cooked out there. The other filet I actually put some ice around it, put it in my luggage and flew it home. And uh, my girlfriend and I ate that last night. It was pretty good. We're here at the warehouse. Just kind of wanted to do a little update video. We got a couple things I want to show you that I'm excited about. I want to talk about the donation to Primary Children's Hospital. We'll give you guys all the details and the final number shortly. We're super excited about. And then we also got some mail, which includes some new products and some fan mail. And I want to give a little uh, shout out and give some love to the young kids, especially and the people who sent us some goodies. This one's probably <laughs> my favorite. It's pretty incredible. Okay, so this one is from Case and Clark. He wrote a really nice message to Hush and he drew a little photo. <laughs> Check this so out. I think it's important for Eric to hold this photo <laughs> and we'll see what you guys think. It says, here is a picture I drew for Eric Chester. If you wouldn't mind putting it in your video so that I know you got it, that would be great. Or email me, he said. So we're going to throw you in the video case and thanks so much. Here's the reveal of your sketch, which you say it's not that good. I disagree. It's actually pretty dang good. 
What do you think, guys? Similarity? Casey, <laughs> you kind of nailed it. Look at, is that? That's the neck warmer. The neck warmer? Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is awesome. Casey, that's a masterpiece, man. I'm at, this is the original, by the way, for anybody who's curious. This is not a copy. As a pencil drawing original. That's, I mean, that looks like me. I'm not going to lie. That is me right there. So, you did a Kaysen, good job, man. Thank you so much. With talent like this, especially at a young age, keep drawing, keep doing art. Uh, if you're passionate about it and you enjoy it and it makes you happy, never stop doing this. This is cool. And thank you so much for taking the time to not only write a letter, but to package it up and send it to us. Uh, appreciate it a lot. Okay, guys, package number two. This one's from Josh Mitchell out of Cleelum, Washington. Eric, you want to do the reveal? Yeah, this... Guys, so Josh sent these out, and they were meant to be for our movie night, and it was going to be part of the raffle, which would help raise money to Primary Children's Hospital. So they came a little late. They came after the event, so we were unable to do that. But talk about craftsmanship, man. This stuff, we've pulled them out. We've looked at it. He sent us two handmade um, custom Hush antler handled knives. And the craftsmanship on the, everything from the leather to the antler to the steel is insane. I mean, that's pretty cool. It's got an elk ivory tooth up here. It says Hush right on the back. And of course, the leather case, the sheath, this one fits right in. And then he's got these handy little draw tabs that could obviously fit on a backpack or a belt. Here's the second one he did. It's a little bit smaller. You just pull on this tab, which releases the knife right out of the sheath. And look at the steel on that one. This one's probably my favorite, and it's sharp. So Josh, thank you so much. Just to have you think of uh, contributing to the donation for us means a lot to us. It means a lot to a lot of people. So thank you. Um, I wish we would have got these in time for the movie, but unfortunately we didn't. So we're going to have to find a way to help raise some money or do a donation. Um, Josh, let us know if you got any ideas. Send us a DM. Send us an email. All right, we got a couple letters here. I'm going to open them real quick and... Uh, just give a shout out to the people who wrote them. This one is from Ryan Winters. Thank you, Ryan, for taking the time to send us a letter. Hush Crew. It's got a little note in there. Dear Hush Crew, my name is Ryan Winters. I'm a huge bow and rifle hunter with a huge amount of public lands in Montana. I will be turning 13 on the 8th of March. Anyway, I just want to say that you guys are one of my biggest role models. I really hope to meet you one day. Very Thank nice. you, Ryan. You threw up some artwork. Check it out. The Fireball Antler and the Hush Hunt Fish. So, Ryan, appreciate it. Oh, man. I get the chills, like, and I get super touched by just the fact that people will take their time to send us this kind of stuff and, and write such good words. So thank you, Ryan. The next one is from Marshall Anderson. Marshall, Very thank you. Very nicely typewritten. Yeah, thank you for for writing up this message. I'm a huge fan of Hush and I love the products. I have watched every single video and some of them I've watched several times. I think I've watched some of the shed hunting videos three or four times each. Fireball video like six times. As I found your channel after I got back from a four day shed hunting trip, I was watching shed hunting videos and I was watching yours in amazement of how easily you pick up sheds. I hope I can meet you guys again for a second time and maybe you can give us some pointers on how to find more sheds effectively and where to go. Marshall, thank you so much, man. There's a little bit more in the letter that I didn't read, but Marshall, appreciate it so much. I'll give you a couple tips when it comes to shed hunting. Probably the most important is to get out there early during the winter months and the early spring months and just scout all the deer and the elk or moose, whatever, you're, whatever it is you're going after for sheds. If you can pinpoint or at least narrow down where they winter, you're gonna have a lot better success finding sheds. And glass, I use my Vortex Optics like you wouldn't believe. Glassing is very, very effective for finding sheds. Just wanna say thanks to everyone who sends us fan, fan mail. I mean, it's still, it's very touching. I know it means a lot to all of us here, so. Thank you, thank you. Super nice, guys. Okay, guys, last package of the day. This one comes from uh, a company called the Kula Tray. We ran these all last fall. Pretty cool idea, actually. How many of you guys have been camping, <laughs> hunting, fishing, put all your stuff in the cooler, the ice melts, and then you just have stuff floating in the bottom in water. Uh, kind of like that always. picture right there. Pretty much every time I've ever done it. So these little trays sit up off the bottom of your cooler and they keep, they let the ice melt through it. Keeps all your stuff dry. They fit a bunch of different types and sizes of coolers, all listed on the back. Great product, cooler tray, go check them out. Uh, I believe too, if you use Hush as a discount code, you get a nice little savings at checkout. So at this website, 
That's right, thecoolertray.com. So now that we're done with mail, guys, let's talk about Primary Children's Hospital. As many of you know, we did a movie night and we dedicated the proceeds to a charity and we chose Primary Children's Hospital this year, which I think we made a great decision by doing that. We've got such good feedback from people and we're so excited that we can help give back and that's what Hush is all about. So here's how it works. Anybody that attended the movie and donated by purchasing raffle tickets or our limited four plate t-shirts that were inspired by our Weatherby rifle, all of that money went into the donation bucket. We decided to try to sweeten the pot and let a lot of you guys that were not able to make the movie also contribute. So we put the limited floor plate t-shirts online and then 100% of the proceeds were donated from that. In addition, the guys at Eagle Eye uh, donated those shirts. If you haven't had a chance to watch the movie where we interview or the video where we interviewed two families, Isaac and Lincoln, in particular their families, uh, we will leave a link right here. Go check that out. I guarantee you, you're going to fight back tears if you watch that. But that was a big inspiration as why we chose Primary Children. This is all because of you guys. Mm -hmm. We are just the middle person able to connect our amazing group of people that we have uh, in our lives through our following with these different types of charities and we're happy to do that so here's the final donation amount that we're going to be writing a check to primary goes. children it's a little blurry how much is it wow guys twenty two thousand five hundred and fifty three dollars and two cents and we took every cent into account to come every up cent. that number yeah so our plan is we've been communicating with the folks at Primary Children's. We're trying to get approval so we can actually go film the handoff of the check to the folks in the uh, donation center at Primary Children's. If we're able to get approval and do that, we'll definitely share it with everybody so you can see how that goes. But we're uh, super excited to be able to do this. And the amount of feedback we've received from people that were at the movie or the expo or those of you that commented online about whether you live in Utah or not, so many families have been impacted, whether it's your own child or a relative or a friend at some type of children's hospital across the country. This money is gonna go to a great place. We're gonna put it towards uh, comprehensive care and then also cancer research, which is really what impacted both of the families we interviewed to kind of gain inspiration from this. So thank you guys again for letting us help uh, a great organization. Guys, is that crazy? That blows my mind that within one event that's just one movie night and then obviously the sales of the t-shirts all together collectively us and you guys included eagle eyes donations we got a donation from a couple of people that just sent a check directly to us everybody guys we did this together so round of applause anybody who helped pat yourself on the back because that's pretty cool that's pretty the, special i think we've talked about this before but the hunting community sometimes gets kind of sucked into this back and forth mode of arguing with each other, you know, having our little spats that you might have with your uh, siblings. But ultimately, when things come down to it, the industry and the community of hunters and anglers, in my opinion, is so incredibly strong, tons of generosity, folks always willing to help each other out. This is one of many, many examples out there. So thank you again. $22,553 is what we raised together in pretty much one night. I mean, it took a lot of planning. Yes, we did sell some Hush Weatherby floor plate shirt designs for about two weeks after, but guys, we all together, when I say all of us, you guys that were at the event, you guys that bought shirts online, you guys that have supported us through the years, together we raised $22,553 for Primary Children's Hospital, which is super, super rad. We just wanna say thank you guys from the bottom of our, our hearts, not only for coming together and supporting our cause, but helping us raise money for, for something that's so amazing to so many people okay guys now that we're done with that stuff we want to give you just a heads up on where we're at with the website we still get a lot of emails wondering um when certain products are going to be updated and inventory is going to be back in stock so good news the last time i showed you this wall it looked bare and empty the t-shirts were just basically sold out after the expo so we've filled in almost every t-shirt that we have in every size i mean when i look at it I can only see a couple holes in different styles. So almost all the t-shirts are in stock. Um, everything is on the website at gethushin.com, of course. 
and then hats. We're working on getting hats back in stock. There's still some that are, are completely sold out, but these are actually on the press right now coming back in stock. And then what else is new? Oh, some of these new ones, these are going to be on the website by the time this video goes live. Those are going to be new. And then uh, we're actually going to be picking out some of the new fishing stuff. So if you guys did watch the Stillhead Semi Live series, you probably saw that we had a lot of new apparel. Everything between, well, hoodies like hoodies. this one. It's a sample hoodie for you. Zip it's a up. nice, yeah, nice, simple, lightweight, comfortable hoodie yeah. with just a really simple leather patch. We'll probably run that one. We have another 50-50... Um, fish design I think we'll probably do maybe one or two color options and then a whole variety of hats guys if you guys like the hats that we were wearing in the stillhead videos like all the leather patch hats those will be in stock and on the website shortly beanies are in stock almost every hoodie and every size is in stock and then these windbreakers these were like the hottest item we had right around November and December so we stocked them deep we took them to the expo and we sold a ton but uh, we definitely have a lot more. So if you guys are interested in any of the windbreakers or the new crew neck sweatshirt, they are also in stock on the website as well. Do us a quick favor too. Go check out those steelhead videos and then leave us a comment. Which of the samples that you saw do you like the most? Whether it be a bent brim hat, a flat brim hat, colors, you name it. Let us know what you think. That's pretty much what's new for the warehouse and uh, the website. This space is actually coming together it's so crazy because once we started once we started to move in here it's like oh we got so much space but man the way our inventory and our store is growing uh, we consumed a lot of the space pretty quick still trying to button up a couple things but we appreciate it guys i just want to say thanks to anybody who buys stuff on our website it actually helps us out a lot it helps us it allows us to just get out and make more content and the guys at ego i have been great so it's been a huge help and it's all because of you guys so thanks again